go. Another day from the desk of Apocalypse Dogs for God's Entertainment with a quick word of reflection, a quick word of inspiration in the mirror of truth. You know, we say that every day in the mirror of truth because you know what? I cannot escape any word that comes out of my own mouth. So, and no one understand that I learned a great lesson from the great Milton D. Muhammad, may Allah be pleased. And he said to me, so you heard the story before, whenever you stand or sit or go to teach a people, teach as if you're teaching yourself then you will not have to worry about how what you say is received because this is an effort to face myself in what we share so anyway i have a question and this question is a powerful question and anyone who asks you this question know and understand that they have great love for you. Okay. <laughs> what do you do to challenge yourself from where you are right now? Hmm. Think about it. What do you do to challenge yourself from where you are right now? Now, we learn that, well, some of us wrote a letter to reclaim our own and we, what is our own? Our own self is the righteous wisdom. But, you know, after writing that letter, we received some information that gave us some uh, questions and some answers. Who is the original man? The original man, the Asiatic black man, to make a own cream of the planet or of the universe, right? So, I mean, just in that one question, there's so much in it. Um, and it suggests, and it basically states that Allah came to give us access to his mind so that we can become like him, right? And so, the question at hand, what do you do to challenge yourself from where you are right now? Now, you can list some things. I can list some things, you know? And there are some things. <laughs> The question becomes, is it enough? No, it's not enough. Because if I am seeking to become like the God, you know, Jesus in John uh, 14, 12, that marvel not at the things that I do, because greater things than these shall you do, right? Okay, so that in itself suggests that whatever I'm doing <laughs> to challenge where I am right now it's not enough you know what I'm saying so there's more to do if there is uh, you know uh, the honorable minister rose for our kind and rising above emotion because this question can bring up some emotion <laughs> if I stand here and just wait for you to give me an answer Right, so, so it rising above emotions into the thinking of God. The minister talks about the limbic system, which only is 20% of the brain, but it's where emotions stem from. You know what I mean? So, you're talking about 80% of the brain that oftentimes is not being used or, or being used by accident <laughs> because the whole world, you know what I mean? Most of the world is caught up in feelings and emotions and passion and lusts and, you know what I mean, uh, urges uh, of the flesh, you know what I mean? Uh, and when challenged, boom, ah, emotions kick in right away. That's what Amalaj um, like Muhammad, that's one of the reasons why the um, like Muhammad say think at least five times before you open your mouth. And so before you open your mouth and ask this question, think it through. And then 
you know, write the things down that you can write down. And then also write some things down, some more things down <laughs> that you can do to challenge where you are right now. That's our word today from the Apocalypse.